Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I'm going to show you the differences between the art brush and the pattern brush. So in this example, I'm going to work with uh, a couple of shapes. You know, we got a star, circle, diamond, and heart. And what I'm going to do is just drop it in here to the brushes and select the art brush, for example. Click OK and click OK again. And now I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna make sure that I'm on the stroke. I'm gonna flip this, and I'm gonna choose the line segment tool. I'm gonna create a line, and I'm gonna select the brush. So as you can see, it's gonna make it wide. It's just a single brush. Now I'm gonna create a new copy of this, and pull this in again, and select the pattern brush, and then click OK. Click OK again. I'm gonna apply the new brush. So as you can see, this one gonna make it repetitive because we're talking about a pattern. Now this one, the art brush has its own purpose. For example, we got a stroke line here or we got this abstract lines. So basically, you know, most of the time this is gonna be used some strokes here and there. I'm gonna drop it in, select the art brush, click OK, click OK again. And I'm gonna draw something. And I, I can apply this brush that I created and voila. Or I can create a circle like this and I'm going to pull these lines in here again, create an art brush, click OK, click OK and apply these lines on the circle. See that? And I also can increase or decrease the stroke and it's going to create a more interesting abstract result. So you can do many, many things with these, uh, you know, with a pattern brush and an art brush. These are some of the examples. Now you know what is the difference between them. And yeah, mainly this is it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.